President of the Australian Psychic Association, your teeth and the way you smile have a whole story to tell about the sort of person you are. Worried already, aren't you? As part of Dental Health Week promotion, Simon joins us this morning to read the teeth of a few familiar faces. Good morning. Good morning. How do you do, Tim? Firstly, when and why did you become interested in reading teeth? Well, uh, it's part of my interest in the Chinese culture because they were very much into studying uh, repeatable forms uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, features, um, names, numbers, and so forth, and the sequences. So I just thought I'd give it a study to see what uh, would come up. Okay, how do you do it? <laughs> well, it's very easy. All you do is you have to, uh, with intuition, with psychic process, you have to trust your feelings. Right. So the whole thing is that with logic, um, you, you analyze a, a series of facts, but very often you have to make a, an intuitive decision on the spot. Yeah and you haven't got time to amass all the logic that you want. So you, you have to study what's in front of you and get a feeling from it immediately. And uh, that's exactly what you do when you read teeth. You look at the person's face and you get a feeling about the shape of their feet. Uh, feet? <laughs> <laughs> teeth. Well, let's have a look at some familiar faces and see what their teeth reveal about them. First of all, we've got Cameron, Cameron and Dado Kerry. and Kerry Friend. Right. With Cameron, um, he's, he's got a, a inclining teeth on the sides which shows that he's, uh, he's very courageous because he's got a high resistance to stress. Uh, with Kerry, she's, uh, she, her, her mouth is fairly wide open and she's got also, although it doesn't show there, um, uh, the gums which show on the top, which mm. also um, shows a highly uh, excitable nature. Yeah, Cameron's and, very definitely the hero type, you're quite right. Yes, he's got a, <laughs> <laughs> courageous. Mm. Yeah. And uh, we also have Kylie Minogue. What do her teeth reveal about her? Well, Kylie's got, um, uh, Kylie's also got the, the, the gaps on the sides, yes, yes. which shows a very active mind. So if you look at uh, the side issues, the, uh, the side, the side of the profile, you can see those gaps. And those gaps uh, imply a very active imagination. So she goes from one subject to another very rapidly, and then back again to the original subject. <laughs> I'm sure Kylie's... Which confuses oh, there's, there's the Eddie Murphy, oh, there's yes. the big gap in yeah. the front. The same with him. So yeah. that's his sense of humor. That's why he can pe put people off, off guard quite easily by... Um, uh, and he's also got quite wide um, incisor teeth. Uh, yeah. which show that he's, he's likely to, to premeditate what he's saying. Uh, f for, uh, so he's, he's seeing the whole scene in his mind before he actually says it. He uses the smile to great effect, Eddie Murphy, in his films. Right. Yeah. Yes, you can see. All right. Now, the smile that I want to see, because maybe I want to see her, it's uh, the wonderful right. Princess Diana, right. the Princess of Wales. Now, they look to me to be the perfect teeth. They do, don't they? Yeah. In fact, that's the idea. You see, she's a diplomat. She doesn't want to take sides. Her whole... Um, her whole psyche, if you like, is, is to keep a middle road, not to take sides, but that, of course, irritates the people around her, and she doesn't want um, uh, to hurt people, and, of course, she doesn't want to hurt her own position, which, of course, she's worked very hard to and maintain. Even that nature, annoys the like troops. Teeth. It sure does. Right. Well, you I can't miss Timothy's teeth. He must be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> beaming Thank out. He must have the much. biggest grin around. What can you read about his teeth? Right. Well, Tim, Timothy's very logical. Um, logical? When it, under pressure, oh. under pressure, <laughs> he maintains a very logical way of thinking, <laughs> and, but uh, privately he's very intuitive, so when he's relaxed he's more intuitive. Um, that's, that's also the, the Yang prototype or the male prototype. Yeah. With you? Miss Sanders. Right. With Anne, with uh, <laughs> Anne is very much intuitive. Anne follows uh, the, um, the prototype of the female, which of course doesn't always occur with male and female, but you follow, you're very intuitive. You go on your feelings very strongly, and then you'll make the logical analysis if mm. you have time, mm. right? And mm. where, whereas with you, it's the reverse. And uh, uh, with now with the prediction side of it, with the Terra computer. Um, yes, tell us we? about the computer. I mean, we've heard right. of Terra cards, but what, right. what, what is this computer well, all about? The Terra computer. This is all here. Right. Um, gives you an analysis on the spot based on what you're thinking right now so that your thoughts are kind of projected in a mathematical sense because it's all calculated mathematically. Is it possible to do one quickly? Yes, it is. All right. If you press that button there, we should have a reaction. Because the thing about reading tarot cards is you're supposed to be your, your own feel on the cards, isn't it? Mm. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Difficult for the... Uh... Well, as, you, as I said, we should have a reaction, so instead I've prepared you one. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so this is the link. Oh, my oh God. <laughs> this is all about Timothy? That's right, and no, no one else in the world afternoon. can get the same reading. Okay. That's Goodness impossible. Me. And one um, for you, Anne. 
Uh, it's longer, I'll bet. Two days might be more interesting reading, don't you? Let's see. Uh, uh, oh. You'll find that there's no two of the same. Oh. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take we a break. We might tell you about so. it later. <laughs>